Hi, Florence. How are you doing there, I think girl? We just have Monique check it on. <laughs> it's Florence the sailor. Florence the sailor. Florence. Is it on? You've just spent how many days on the ocean with Monique? Uh, a ten-day sail, um, and it was breathtaking. It really was. There, there's something in it for everyone for sailing. Um, you know, your vacation time is your time. It's incredibly special. You've earned it, and um, certainly in this trip, whether whether I wanted to get stuck in and and do stuff and pull lines, or if I wanted to just lay down and relax and watch it all happen around me, both would have been fine. And Monique does that very well. She caters for that, so I'm very grateful. <laughs> Were you in different locales every evening? Were you? Yeah, we moved around a lot. Um, we saw a lot in the, in the space of time we had, but I never felt that we were rushed from one place to another. So, you know, we, we started off in Granada, we moved basically north from there and did what we could with the weather. It's very important to just let the weather tell you what you're gonna see, and there's absolutely no disappointments. You know, the, the, the cleaner the sailing, the, the, the further you can go, but there's so much stuff here that you can see. However far you get, it's going to be great. Did Monique give you the opportunity to learn how to be a sailor and sail the boat? She did. She did. Absolutely. And raise um, raise the uh, sails. Yes. I think, as anyone would say, the, the most important thing with sailing is safety and trust and being in control. And when you have a captain who can provide all of that, you feel comfortable and confident enough to, to take things on yourself. Were you ever at the helm? Okay, Did you have that, that opportunity? These are sparrows. These are swallows. Oh, look at this. Oh, we have here swallows we go. coming up on the boat here. We oh, Birds look at them. Florence, did you ever have the opportunity to be at the helm? Yeah. And really feel like a real sailor? Yeah, absolutely. Whatever you want and however far you want to push it, to be with someone who's confident and skilled enough to accommodate that is very rare. I think. But how did you feel at the helm? How did I feel? I felt very scared actually for the first 20 <laughs> minutes because there's a lot of power at your disposal and you would have to be a fool not to not to think that you could you know you could right there's about 17 tons of, of machinery underneath <laughs> yes. you as I understand but once once you've settled into it and you start to listen to the wind and you feel the waves and you actually can predict things a little more you, you relax into it and it's it's such a joyful feeling really is. Wonderful. So tell me, uh, did you experience some good meals in these last 10 days? And yes. what kind of locales did you <laughs> frequent? What what was the kind of food choices that <laughs> you had? When I dine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of beach dining, which is a very special experience. Interesting. the local people on the diff various islands that you visited, how are they towards you? Grenadians are incredibly hospitable and very calm, relaxed people. They know what they've got, they're not trying to hustle you, they're not trying to push you to do nice. anything that you want. Um, it's a really welcoming and relaxed um, tourist environment. I think that they, they're just ready for people to enjoy the island and have fun wherever you are. Beautiful. Tell us about many, that. Yeah. <laughs> what was the theme of the evening? Um, I don't actually remember. I know that the next day was juve, but... <laughs> I know there was something about glitter. Was, I know oh, there was glitter all over the boat. Yeah, we, had, we, we, we decked ourselves up in some glitter. We hit the party scene. It was amazing. The sound system could be heard for miles away, I heard. <laughs> Florence, did you dance? Oh, I danced. But 
Grenadians don't really dance that much, so I danced. <laughs> Everyone watched. <laughs> that was fine. Well, it sounds like it's been a wonderful 10 days of your life. Now, I understand you're going to be flying back to the Big Apple tomorrow, mm -hmm. New York City, mm -hmm. and you will leave all this behind you, but I'm sure it will live in infamy in your mind and your heart and the beautiful time that you spent with four women sailing through the Grenadian Islands down to Tobago Cays, which has got to be the most beautiful place on earth. And you're coming back, right? I'm gonna come back. Cheers, and this is Monique. This is the lady who owns this charter, owns this absolutely beautiful, beautiful, classy sailboat. I think I've, I know I've never experienced anything like it. And Monique, thank you very much for having me, Cheers, Trisha, and, and having wonderful Bronwyn as well yeah, as your co-pilot. And we had a wonderful time. And this is our last night. Tomorrow we will sail back to our port, which is Secret Harbor in the very southern part of Grenada. And we will bid our lovely Florence adieu. And we will miss her chatter, we will miss her talk. Oh my God, she's just been such an enthusiastic, fun delight in our lives. And thank you very much, Florence, for being, for being the girl that you are. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to next season. See you again. Oh my God, yes. Bye-bye, everyone. Stay Hope salty. you can come sometime. You'll never forget this experience. It's the best.